Hi there, this is part two. Mac boot camp from part one I did. Uh, to change back to use Mac OS X or Mac, you have to press, there's a little arrow right here in the corner. Let me see if I can scroll up to it. Well, there's a little arrow, as you notice, my mouse is there. You hit the little arrow, and there's a little square right here that says, I need a magnifying glass to check this out. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry for moving the phone around. But it says, restart in OS X, there it is, so you hit there, click once, and then you get a message here, are you sure you want to restart, and you say, okay, or, does it say, I don't know, I never read it properly, it says, are you sure you want to restart the computer, to start up using OS X. And you hit OK, and you leave it alone, and it'll say restarting. And then it goes blank again. You get the funny, the funny sounds, you get the Apple logo. It's starting in... OS X, which is your Mac program, if you're running whatever you're running, Tierra or El Capitan or Mojave or whatever you're running. So, as you can see, it's restarting in Mac. And that's how you get from Windows to Mac. Okay, I'll make I'll put a description in the bottom. And I'll show you one more thing. Let me just log in here. What the heck happened? Oh yeah, I'm gonna hit enter. <laughs> As you can see, my computer says, Al. <gasps> oh. If you want some readout of uh, what I just did there, check my, my top here. I'm on the internet. Yes, okay. I'll click this. I did the HTML. Hopefully it's going to work. Yes, it's going to work. See, here's something you should know. Install Windows 10 on your Mac using Boot Camp Assistant. This is from the Mac site. Oh, I'll, give, I'll, I'll give you what it says here. It says... Oh, that's all. You, you just put in your search bar saying install Windows 10 on your Mac using Boot Camp. You can get the video or you can look at uh, everything else. But you get a screen right here. I don't know why I'm not getting a screen. I, I just copied it so you can know. But what you need to install... Um, you need a USB adapter, you need the ISO for creating a partition, you need bootcamp for that, then you got to format the bootcamp partition, which is um, FAT32 for Windows. So you, you gotta, 
when you're partitioning, make sure you, you choose FAT32 on your Mac when you're using Windows for boot camp. Also, you'll need a USB stick. Um, 8 gigs or more. I used a 16 gig and it was fine. You'll have to uh, go into your settings on your Mac to disk utilities. I'll show you what it is. I have it down here. So I have to search 500 places for disk utility. And there's your thing. This utility. Here's boot camp right here. You need 70 gigs. I use 70 gigs. I don't think you need more than that. I think I use 50 gigs though. Let me check. No, I use 50 gigs. Yeah, you don't need 70. I use 50. I'm only running Windows because most controllers, if you buy Midnight Solar or any other controller, use uh, a Windows program to control them. Like, eventually, they should use Macintosh, but with the USB, the serial adapter you can buy, they recommend uh, the Triple Light 9000, I think it is, from uh, my, uh, uh, Morningstar. I use this prolific and I have no problems with it. So it's up to you. You want to spend money get a Trilight or yeah, Trilight prolific adapter or no, not a Trilight. If you want to buy a USB to serial adapter, I bought the prolific on eBay. That's where I found it. Didn't take long to get it. Or you can go to Morningstar and use their triple light adapter. I think it's going to be more money, but it's up to you. Okay, but I'm just showing you that that's uh, just showing you the boot camp part on right here. You have to go to Boot Camp Assistant. To open up Boot Camp Assistant, you press, um, you can go shortcut here. Command, spacebar, you get a window. Type in Boot Camp. And the first one pops up is Boot Camp Assistant. I think. No. Boot Camp Assistant is the second one. This one right here. Click on that. There's your Boot Camp Assistant right here. Okay. And you press continue. Now. Because I never programmed anything. To my Mac. Let's say you had a hard time partitioning your hard drive. You can do it with this program right here, Boot Camp Assistant. Let me get rid of this Chrome here. There we go. When you open up Boot Camp Assistant and you want to partition your hard drive or you're having problems with it, You could do it this way. I've had a question that I couldn't partition my hard drive on my Mac. So I'm showing that person that as soon as you open up Boot Camp Assistant, the only thing highlighted here is this last line. Last line. It says install, sorry, remove Windows 7 or later or newer version. Um, and then you just read this, it says this will remove your Windows partition. So, I'm not going to remove mine, but I'll show you a step here. Press continue. This is what it's gonna, your partition is going to look like after you press 
this one right here. Restore. It's going to remove the Windows partition and any files that are on that partition. So you don't want to, I don't want to do that because I've already got my Windows partition. It works fine. I can download software from uh, Morningstar. So, but if you want to partition your hard drive, if you remove, so you just have OX, OX, OS X, that's what it says. You, you just click the next button and it does it all by itself. Now, I don't want to do that, but that's what you do. Okay? I hope that helps. I'm just going to go back here and uh, if I had my ISO file I got from the Windows website, all you got to do is do a search. I'll show you that. Get out of here. You need an ISO file from Mac. Uh, I don't know if you can do it here. No, it's not. I'm in Safari. Here, I'll use Chrome. I'll use it in Chrome. So I have Chrome down here. Chrome opens up. Put here. Uh, Uh, Windows on a Mac. Press enter. Oh, sorry. That's Windows on a Mac. Download. That's what you do. Windows on a Mac. Windows on a Mac download. Press enter. Download. There it is. Download Windows for Mac. Windows runs on a Mac. You got to make sure you're using the Microsoft. website there's a videos if you click on click on this right here might might give me something <laughs> just released it's been on for a while because I've had it on for a while these guys want you to buy it but you don't use parallels. There we go. <laughs> I like that. I did a mistake. Windows ISO There we go. No, you search here. I know my phone is really stupid here. Windows there. Eh. Download Windows 10 ISO image. First one. So you go to search bar, you punch in Windows 10. Uh, I can't, this phone's not working properly. Download Windows 10 disk image, which is an ISO from Microsoft. Hit the download button. And then you get to this. This tells you you're on the right site. Then you select your option, and the option you should be selecting. I hope you saw that. Let me back up. 
Okay. Now. So download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. That's the file you need to put Windows 10 on your Mac. So you select condition. So click, you pick the first one. You, and you press continue. Change screens. Choose your Eng uh, language if you want an English, French, or whatever. I'll put English. Oh, that's not English. It's good right here. There's my English. So you're in English. You confirm it. Now you have to use 64-bit download. So you click on 64-bit. And in the bottom corner, is your mine's going to go to the desktop. This takes a while. I don't know how, how much exactly what it is. So I'll just minimize my screen here. And as you can see, it's saying unconfirmed. So you just wait till that finishes. And when it's finished, you have your ISO file for your Mac. Then you go, you use command spacebar together search for come on work the boot camp and just that Okay, if you punch in boot camp system, it's your first one, you click on that, double click I guess, and then you're at the screen. Then follow directions. <coughs> you can, I can't do it because like I said, I've already done this and we've already got to the screen, but I'm just showing you. But now, once this is confirmed, when it tells you to choose the file, you just put on your desktop and then you just grab the file and uh, enter it and it'll do it and it takes a long time it's uh, nearly two hours hope you got two hours of your time because that's how long it's gonna take that's what it took me last night to do mine so Good luck and uh, any questions or comments, please leave them in the bo in the bottom. Um, if you need any help, I'll try to help you. But if you look on YouTube, sometimes, uh, well, not sometimes, but they have videos how to uh, put Windows 10 on your Mac. Some have for the new versions, some have for the old version, some, uh, some have it for doing it without using boot camp but it's very complicated and if you have a, a, a mac that supports boot camp well you're in luck because it's a lot easier this way anyways like i said have a great day this is part two of windows on a mac using morningstar controllers programming them and updating them Okay, questions and comments, leave them in the bottom. If you 
like to subscribe, please press the subscribe button and the little bell. And it'll give you notices of my next video. I apologize to all my subscribers how long. I'm so sorry it's taken so long to make a video. But things have come up since last year. But everything's working fine. My system is fine. I'll have to take this controller and reinstall it. And then I got to take off the other one. I'll have to disconnect it, bring it back in the house, and use my power supply, which is that one right there, to reprogram it, set my dip switches and to 12 volts. I could put them on automatic voltage, too, and then come in here and use 12 volts. Didn't think of that. But still have to be disconnected. And then reconnect. Okay. Until then, have a great day. Bye now.